All right, it looks like we may never learn the full details of U.S. President Donald Trump's peace plan for Middle East peace, and that's because the White House has reportedly put the deal on hold following unified rejection from the Palestinians. Now, the Trump administration may instead be switching gears here and focusing on fixing Gaza in hopes of demonstrating its commitment to peace. Such a plan is easier said than done, though, as President Trump has apparently learned. His administration was initially optimistic that despite Palestinian anger towards the U.S., he could bring them to the table with a yet unseen deal. The Palestinians all but severed ties with the current administration following President Trump's decision to unilaterally recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. In an apparent response to the Palestinians' outrage, the White House slashed the bulk of its financial aid to the Palestinians' UN Refugee Agency, a move which seemingly only pushed them further from the table. Team Trump renewed its efforts to land the ultimate deal for peace in recent weeks, sending an envoy to lobby Arab and Gulf nations central to the conflict. During this time, there was not one sit-down between U.S. officials and any Palestinian leaders. An unnamed official in the White House has apparently admitted a certain degree of defeat here, telling the Washington Post that the strategy now has shifted to rehabilitating Gaza. The idea here would be to demonstrate U.S. commitment to the Palestinian cause by helping solve the humanitarian crisis and hopefully rebuild some much-needed trust. But such a plan would require full cooperation from both Israel and Egypt, who maintain a fierce blockade of all things in and out of the enclave. At this time, Israel has refused to change a thing until Hamas agrees to release the bodies of two IDF soldiers and two civilians currently being held in the Strip, and this stalemate is just one of many obstacles Washington faces if it hopes to lay new track towards a lasting Middle East peace.